It's been quite the month for Liverpool's academy. 7-1 win in the FA Youth Cup last time out against Arsenal. And then in the first team, we've had James McConnell starting in the FA Cup. We've had Bobby Clark making quite a few appearances from the bench. And also, of course, the crowning moment, arguably, Connor Bradley with arguably two, three man of the match performances in his first games. Jürgen himself said that we would not have made it through the last month of January, especially with all the injuries, without the kids. So with all that in mind, we're here to speak to the Reds under 18s boss, Mark Bridge Wilkinson. And we couldn't have put the string of results together we had without the boys, without the kids. For the first team managers to say that in public, in the press, I think it's really special. I think that not just myself, but everyone in the academy, it, it, it makes you feel really proud of the work that we put in every day. And when people recognise that, like the manager has done openly in the press, it, it can only be a good thing. What I will say is that the work goes on tirelessly here, but without a manager that, that is willing to play the young players and the staff around him, Pep and Vitor and everyone else there, John and everyone else up there, without that staff believing in the younger players and believing in the process, then it still wouldn't happen. So I don't think it's us and I don't think it's them. They're the ones that have to do the hardest part, which is to put the young boys in. And we, uh, we're forever thankful that obviously the manager's done that over the years. Jürgen, we've worked it out, has given first team debut yep. to 52 players yeah. who have played for the Reds <laughs> Academy. That's a staggering amount in nine seasons. That, that's a lot, yeah. It's more than I thought it was, actually. <clears throat> I did realise, I did think it would be big. Didn't realise it would be that amount of players. That's, that's, um, goes back to what we said before. Uh, when a manager believes in young, young people, young footballers, young players, and he gives people opportunities, then obviously you see the likes of Trent, you see Curtis, you see uh, Cueve, and you see Connor now, and Jurel, and people that are getting in and around it. and not only having a go, but they're staying there and they're proving themselves. That's, that's what you hope will happen. Do you notice when somebody goes and has that you know, opportunity to train with the first team players and then they come back down, that there's an extra spring in this? Yeah, quite possibly, yeah. It's, um, it's a great thing for them to get the opportunity. It's a great thing for them to see the level um, and feel what it's like to be a part of that because it is quite a significant jump from the 18s. Um, again, the 21s is a jump also, but from the 18s to that first team, <laughs> it's a huge, huge gap. Um, <clears throat> so to feel that, um, to see it, to witness it firsthand, what, what the top players train like, how they, how they train, how they do it, the techniques, the application that they put into each and every moment of training, I think it just inspires people to come back and, and go, actually, I've got to do more. Jaden is uh, one of several, it seems almost unique, Quirk yep. that there's so many players whose fathers have yep. played yeah, yeah. in the Premier League. Do you think that like has an impact? I mean, I, from a coaching perspective, I, I think it's, it must have an impact <coughs> in terms of the modelling from a very young age, being and yep. around that, you know, top level environment. Yeah, quite possibly it does, yeah. But I'm sure there's quite a lot of other um, <coughs> younger boys or girls from Premier League players of past that maybe don't get to this level. So yes, I would imagine that it has an effect. Um, I'm pretty sure that all of the parents that, that we could mention have a, a real positive impact on their child and the way that they talk to them and the, the way that they back up the messages that we give them here at the academy. So yeah, I can't say that that's a one way in, it's not one, one size fits all and you must have this, but it, it, it must help in some way, shape or form. It's a form on Sunday, um, what will be your message to the lads ahead of that? Um, get as close to the Arsenal game and recreate as much of that as we can really. We've performed <clears throat> in different games at different levels. We've performed really well, and we've got to maximise what we do. Um, yes, we'll fully respect Fulham. Um, they're going to be a good side, a fantastic academy and club as it is. And uh, yeah, it's not going to be easy, but we've got to make sure that we do our part of it first.